When you want to install dependency with Node.js, it's very easy with the npm package manager. However, for Solidity Smart Contract, we don't have the equivalent of npm. So how can we install Solidity libraries like Open Zeppelin? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Open Zeppelin in your smart contract project. Hey, I'm Julian and on my channel Eat the Blocks, I teach how you can become a blockchain developer and get your first blockchain job. There is something a bit surprising about Open Zeppelin. Although this is a Solidity library, in order to install it, you need to use npm, the package manager of Node.js. So first you need to install Node.js on your computer. The installation also includes npm. And it doesn't matter if you on Windows, Mac or Linux, this is cross compatible. Next, you need a smart contract framework to install Open Zeppelin. Open Zeppelin is compatible with three of them, Truffle, Embark and Builder. I'm going to show you an example with Truffle. So this is my Truffle project. Then I'm going to initialize my npm project with npm in it. And I want answer yes to all the default question. So now I have a package.json file. And now I'm going to install the open Zeppelin npm package. So this is a scope package. That's why you have the Aruba sign. And then the full name is slash contracts. All right. So now if we check in package.json, then you can see that we have added a dependency here. So now I'm going to create a new smart contract in the contract folder. I specify the version of Solidity that I want to use. And then I'm going to import the smart contract of Open Zeppelin that I want to use. So for example, if I want to create an ERC721 token, and first I mentioned the name of the Open Zeppelin package, then the path to the smart contract that I want to use, contracts slash tokens slash ERC721 slash ERC721 full dot so. And that's it. Now I can use this smart contract from Open Zeppelin. By the way, if you are wondering how comes I know what is this path here, it's because I had a look inside the Git repo of Open Zeppelin. So here you can see this on GitHub and you can see all the folders of the framework. So you click in contracts and then you can navigate, see this and see which smart contract you need. What's important to understand is that on our local file system, it's not resolving from GitHub, but it's resolving from our node module directory where we have installed the NPM package of Open Zeppelin. So if I go back to my terminal inside node modules, then here we have the Open Zeppelin directory and inside we have all the folder structure that we saw on GitHub before, but this is installed locally. In the next video of this series on Open Zeppelin, I'll show you how you can create an ERC20 token with Open Zeppelin. I'll see you there.